It's a sunny and windy morning on Houston's southeast side. Now arriving, Palm Center Transit Center Station. Heading up to the Metro Rail Palm Center Station on Griggs Road, south of the Third Ward, I see the word Empower written in large blue letters across the top of the plexiglass behind the benches. Sitting on one of those benches are artist Carol Parrott Blue and historian Dr. Merlene Petrie. They're part of the team in charge of creating the artwork at the location. The design's theme is centered around influential women during the civil rights movement in Houston. It's a collage of historical newspaper and magazine articles and photographs. One of them really resonates with Blue. Hattie Mae White is one of the people that we emphasized. And I knew Mrs. White because my mother was one of the multiple foot soldiers that worked with her when she decided to run for the school board here in Houston. White was the first African-American in Houston to serve in public office, being elected to the school board in 1958 and again in 61 and 64. She was a leading voice in the fight for school desegregation. To Blue, the words and pictures serve more than one purpose. And it's designed in a way that if you want to look at it and enjoy it, you can. If you want to go deeper, there's a little history that's hidden that you can use. And if you want to go even deeper than that, then you can take those names down and then you can start Googling and researching who these people are. Coffee Plant, Second Ward. Next on the tour was a stop at the Coffee Plant, Second Ward station on Harrisburg, along the new East End Line. That's where I met up with artist Jesse Cifuentes, sporting a straw fedora and flip-flops. He's lived in the neighborhood for decades and even has a mural on a building around the corner. Looking down at the platform, I noticed tiles cut into the shape of coffee cups. With, with coffee being big industry in the East End, I, uh, I put the coffee uh, business in there and I put a coffee cup on a ship I put a coffee cup on the railroad and I put a coffee cup on a truck that's because on any given day when the wind hits you in the right direction you can smell the aroma of the coffee roasting plant nearby but that's not the only nod to the East End Cifuentes has included printed on the windscreen behind the benches are images of magnolia trees at one time, Harrisburg was lined with magnolia trees down uh, from town all the way down to the end of the street. It's all a part of Metro Rail's $1.7 million art and transit program. It's given local artists exposure by displaying their work at the different rail stations around town, including some stops that were already open, which takes us downtown. Now arriving. Theater District Station. Here I joined the husband and wife team, Sharon Engelstein and Aaron Parazette. The design on the ground displays colorful geometric images and warm colors of rust and gold. But when you get closer and take a more careful look, you realize that they're actually words we hear often when speaking of Greater Houston, such as sprawl, trade, and rapid. Engelstein says she and Parazette don't collaborate on projects too often, but this one caught her attention. I'm always looking for good opportunities for public art proposals, and I think I asked Aaron to collaborate with me on this proposal. I thought it made more sense, given that he's a painter. Parazette says the city's been good to them for the past 25 years. We've really made our lives as artists in Houston, and it's very, it was seemed like a wonderful opportunity to have a project in the city to give back to the city in some way. And, and in the process of connecting Houston's neighborhoods by rail, so too have they been connected by local art. From the News 88.7 Arts and Culture Desk, I'm Amy Bishop.